What's up, Saucy Scholars? Hope you're keeping it cool, steady popping your collar. Man, I'm dropping three videos for y'all today, man. Look out, three videos, man. We got a new camera, so I'm about to drop like draws. You know, draws drop every day. Hopefully, if you wash your ass, they drop every day. You know what I'm saying? So right now, we got, I spent a day in Jamaica's most dangerous slums, man. I don't know if it's just me, but it seemed like a lot of clear people are going out to these Caribbean countries and just... Like, I don't know if they're doing this for financial gains or whatever the case may be. I don't want to speak too soon. I'm going to watch the video and see where they're trying to get at. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be different. I don't know if Coco Boy did start like a, a fundraiser or a GoFundMe or start something for at least traveling to Trinidad and shit like that for the community. But I ain't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. And it would be nice to see some shit. If they go go out there and exploit, you might as well help. You feel me? So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and hop into this and see what the hell is going on in Jamaica, man. In recent years, Jamaica has become one of the most dangerous countries in the Caribbean. The federal government is warning tourists about traveling to certain destinations in the Caribbean. Due to a rise in drug cartels. Two men were shot, one fatally. This nation of 2.8 million has seen a rise in violent... Bro, that's crazy. Like, I get where y'all coming from, bro. When y'all say it's only certain parts that's like that, bro. I'm telling you, I just seen a million fucking people go to Jamaica and had the time of their lives. You feel me? Like, no issues. On, I had my sister just went out to Jamaica. Literally, she was out there with everybody. Had the time of her fucking life. You know what I'm saying? And then you come across this type of video and it's like, what the fuck? I ain't seen none of that shit. You know what I mean? I was walking through the hood and say, you know what I'm saying? Time, leaving many tourists wondering if they should vacation elsewhere. I want to find out what life is really like on the streets of Jamaica, so that's why I'm heading to Flankers, the most dangerous hood in Montego Bay. They shoot somebody up that side. Where do people get their guns from? Government. <laughs> <laughs> what you're about Straight to see up. is a raw exploration of the vibrant yet troubled heart of Jamaica's tourist hub. <laughs> I thought it was gonna fight me. No, no. Same thing, plot of dark and object. Jamaica problem now, but we try to make no problem. I'm taking my editing team to Jamaica for our annual team bonding trip. None of us wanted to stay at a resort, so we booked a lovely Airbnb in the countryside. This morning, I'll be sneaking out to Flankers alone, and I don't blame the guys for not wanting to join. If you're wondering why Flankers is so dangerous, it's the gang rivalries and turf wars. This neighborhood, what some might call- But the crazy part, it's a level three for the whole part of Jamaica. I sold y'all that uh, warning that they sent out a couple months ago. It was level three for the whole country, you feel me? It wasn't just a certain part. Well, a shanty town is located <laughs> right outside the airport. It's insane to think that just one fence separates the luxury beach clubs from the locals who actually live on the island. Even for Jamaicans themselves, they wouldn't dare go to Flankers. What do you know about Flankers neighborhood? That's, that's a real bad area. You don't like it? No, they kill my brother over there. I really struggled to find a local to take me inside until my Airbnb host connected me to her friend, McCoy, a native of Flankers, who said yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Have you seen like danger here? I lost my brother at the birth in the through gun violence. Check this out. I'm gonna show you how I afforded this car. Okay, you ready? All right, $118 for. Hey, bro. How are you? Hey, hey. hey. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What What makes you happy in this world? Choose your life while I live in. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's so good to meet you, bro. Yeah, man, it's nice. Yeah, man, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting out. This is crazy. So, this. This is actually my family home. All your childhood memories are here. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Smoke it as that? Yeah, we're in the heart of Flankers. There's still a lot of secrets in the different corners. Of people still involved in gun activities. Hi, how are you? Hey, what's going on, Jay? What's going on? How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless up, bless up. Bless nice to meet you. What's up, bro? Hi. Do you think many people here have weapons? Yeah. What is this? Well, this is a home that used to be owned by a, a political activist. Who so this died. was a home, but not yes. anymore? 
Well, uh, the people still developing it. Flankers is what's known as a garrison community in Jamaica. A garrison is a housing development erected by the government, which carefully selects residents that will wholly support a local politician. Often, these urban areas are marked by poverty, gang violence, and political manipulation. How many people live in Flankers? They live oh, like Section 8. 50,000. How are you going, brother? How are you doing, bro? You good? No, but it's Section 8. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, how comes? I know her from she's really a little kid. Yeah. Do you like living here? Yeah, nice. You know, nice. I came here because everybody's too scared to come here. They say, oh, I don't want to go to Slinger. So that's why I said, I want to go. Funka nice, man. Funka nice. Nice place. Nice place. It, it, it really? Yeah, nice place. Is this, were you born and raised here? Somebody bad will be somebody's good. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're going to get mixed reviews everywhere you go. They were like, I heard this the hood. Nigga, what, you, what hood? A K, K hood, you know what I'm saying? That's the only hood, you know. Feel me? I know what the fuck you tell you. Feel me? But it's just really, it, it, it's really what you about when you go. You feel me? If you just going chilling, you ain't about to have no problems with nobody. Here? Yeah, this yeah. is my horse. Oh no, nice. my hunty. Oh, he die. Over there is my. Welcome. Look at me. Oh, it's got a whole garden back here. Yeah, she's a flower That's girl. That's fire. That's cool. These dogs kind of freak me out. We just entered this lady's house. Super interesting. See how rugged everything is. I mean, just walking into the house. Look at the rocks we have to walk over. Rust on the buildings. Have a bend down when you're coming through here, bro. Whoa. This is wild. Do they say love bitches? It's probably like love B plus C plus A. I don't know. To me, I automatically went to bitches. Like, we love the bitches. We do everything for the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Keeps going. You got a cake? Oh, no. Oh, I'm a cake. Are these your dogs? Yes. Yeah. This is my dog. They don't bite? If you if we weren't here, they would. They would bite. Yeah. 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 I'm scared of big dogs, man. Yeah. What do you do for work? I'm not working. I just plant my flowers. Garden. Love. Yeah. But that's like life. Nobody want none to buy us, so I'm not working. That's Have life. Have you ever seen like tourists coming here to Flankers? No, too many come out. Out on time, I always go up in my church, but I mean the church, yeah. I always say a lot. But Most time. I would come in here with groups, with them, yes, mission yes. groups. Oh, mm -hmm. what about just regular tourists like me, no. just walking the street, never? No, Jamaica's history is deeply intertwined with the transatlantic slave trade, and it continues to grapple with issues of economic disparity and social injustice. At the same time, the country depends on tourism. I think it's crazy that almost all tourists come here by cruise ship, or they stay confined to their beachside hotel rooms. Very few people know about the I real mean... street life culture that gave birth to reggae music as a genre and put Bob Marley on the map. But bro, they tell you not to travel off the uh resort. You feel me? They be like, you feel me? Stay on the resort. Do make sure you be on a resort. Or if you're going out to wherever, make sure you got somebody driving you or the case may be. But they tell you not to wander off. You feel me? Me personally, I haven't been to Jamaica, but I know a lot of people that has. That's why a lot of people don't go out and explore. They give out a warning. Even still, walking around Flankers, I'm almost as nervous as I felt in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, which speaks volumes about the stark realities faced by marginalized communities in the Caribbean. What are you drinking? Rum? We call this special. Rum and boom. Rum and boom, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes you have a heart attack. <laughs> are you born and raised here? Yes, man. With him? Oh, yeah, my baby. Really? Yes, my baby. Really? Yes, my I have a question for you. If you could only have weed or rum the rest of your life, what would you, what would you prefer? Yeah, I prefer weed. <laughs> a lot of other guys told me rum. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll, I'll buy something. We buy, buy them for, for them. Well, well, we can't get to them, guys. You have to drink. Can I see your tattoo? It's cool. I like this one. Butterfly. This is a love. No. You have a lot of piercing. Yeah. Does it hurt? Sometimes. <laughs> Camera all up in her grill. This God one, damn, back one. up. <laughs> you, want, you want that, bro? This one. So I think we drink it too. Can you, can you finish yeah. that in one day? Yeah, Lord. Yeah, burn it there. Burn it there.
know that guy? Yeah, we know that guy. He almost ran into the wall. I really will. I chill at him. I kill him. I really will. I chill at him. I chill at him. Tell me something that you've seen in Flankers that is was crazy. All these lost friends, you know? Not people. Sick and by. You you lost friends? Many? All the bad friends. Terrible man. So this is Damn. the life you guys just hang out every day, smoke, drink, chill. Shit, that shit make you be scared to be his friend. Like nigga, am I gonna be next? For the word, you know. What you know? Is he the shooter? Now let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> what do you do for work? I'm a steward in a dick camera. This washer. I wash plain pots. Yeah, I work in the kitchen. Jesus <laughs> Christ. God, man. I thought he was going to bite me. Have you ever been bit by a dog? Bro, I was just thinking that hell yeah, I got bit. I still got the, the scar, bro. That shit will not leave. Got bit by my French dog, bro. About took a whole chunk out my leg. And then I got attacked by my own dog because I was young and I was running. Bro, story, it's a story time, bro. You feel me? Hell, bro, getting bit by a dog is not fun. You have. How did it feel? Pit bull. By a pit bull. God damn. You go, you go to the hospital? No, I'm not going to the hospital. Never been shot. Nigga. That's good, man. Nigga. You got to go get that little shot. What they call it? It's not a technic shot, but it's a little shot that you get after so, you know, a dog bites you, make sure you good and shit. Keep it that way. I don't want to be shot. I don't want to be shot either, bro. It's a life and death situation. Yeah. I want gunshot kill. Yeah, I know. You know everyone. What happens if someone rolls up that you don't know? You just say what's up? No, we can't say what's up. We don't know you. No, we have to try to look. He has to talk first before we can talk. You know? What's up? You good? Vegetarian and you still have to watch him. It can be a, a hitman. Do you like living here? Bro, if he a hitman, he ain't even about to, <laughs> ain't even about to say what's up. They blasted off rip. They try to get that bread, that head, and then leave. What are you talking about? Hey, bro, you look like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> no one told you that before? Bro, that nigga look like... You get it a lot. Right. Can you rap like Snoop Dogg? Can you smoke like Snoop Dogg? Where the fuck that nigga name yeah. is? <laughs> that nigga look like Bruce. You like living here? That was screaming with Kai. All my life, I live here. I never traveled before, you know? What's up, bro? All right. Dude, you, your chest hair makes a heart. You see that? What's your name? Skinny, they call me. Skinny? Yeah, man. They call you Skinny? Yeah, man. You like it here? Skinny with the nine. <laughs> no problem, man. Everything good. Yeah. Do you work? Yeah. What's your job? I run a mechanic. Mechanic? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys are awesome, man. Thank you. Super nice. Nice people. Nice people, thank you. Thank you. Good man, man. Yeah. Those guys are cool, man. Yeah, man, yeah. Hey guys, just want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this video. Man, get the fuck off my screen. You got the nerve to put ads in a sponsor in a video? You go out to another country and, and show it off what the fuck be really happening in that uh, Let me see if they got a, like a fundraiser or a GoFundMe or something. Down here. There's nothing down there, bro. That's crazy. Just got all the bread on Jamaica. Shout out Jamaica, man. Shout out Trinidad, too. Because they be getting them. Hey. High quality, fresh, and the best content. Right now, Storyblocks is offering a special. Black Fuck off my screen, nigga. It didn't hit me with the egg. Garbage, like trash. Oh, smells terrible. Old, yeah, it, 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 it smells it, terrible. It, it smells like bouncing ass. Did burn it? Yeah. Um. Well, we have been. They are doing better now because we are actually telling people not to put the plastic in the trash. Like if you burning some leaves, but we'll see what they do. They put the plastic. Oh hell no! Well. They are trying so to kill motherfucker. They're the <laughs> the burning plastic on that bitch. You have a mixture of. The, the money 
It comes through drugs, scamming. What kind of drugs? Just weed and cocaine? Or That's everywhere, drugs? man. Molly. Molly? Yeah. Like extra Shout out to Molly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what other I heard drugs she's mean? a very nice girl. Well, the bum and the rum mm. mixed with marijuana is a part of the life. The life. Yeah. Because of drugs, a lot of them mess up their brain. They, they, they go around now and they work like, you know, just I can see buy that. things just, for people. And just, just by yeah. talking to them. Yeah, yeah. It's, hey, man, it's, how you doing? Uh, Joe, I'm in Jamaica, man. Yeah. Welcome. He's a... Um, <laughs> this, this, this is a guy who, who drinks and smokes too much. What's your name? Stanley. Starting? Yeah. You seem to be really happy. Yeah, man. Joe, man. Why are you so happy? Happy. You know, God, we love to smoke weed. I'm, I'm about to say he's high. I'm here. I just grew up. Why, Joe? What, man? Is it, what is it like to live here? Life you live in, man. And sun play here year regular, man. I go dance and wine for girl, man. And I can't. I, that's, is that English? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a mixture of English and Patwa. It says that um, the sound system play, yeah. a lot of music, yeah. a lot of girls, a lot of parties. So is it, is it pretty safe here or sometimes yeah, it gets safe, dangerous? Safe. No violence, no. Violence is cool and gun. Do you own a gun? No, we don't own a gun. No. to you at this point i'm very and highly convinced that these niggas just be secret agents bro these niggas that's going out and doing these videos and shit bro these niggas is secret agent bro they have to be like asking too many federal fucking questions that's good why should why should you that's good yeah thank you thank you who the fuck asked somebody that nice bro you, you have a gun my name is drew drew yeah nice to meet you Drew. i'm just coming to learn about your community it's so nice so far okay are you from here not really but i live here a long time now and you like it yeah it's good you just have to know to adjust yourself in, yeah. in your community how to live and yeah. how to move with yeah, yeah. neighbors and friends yeah. and everybody. Are, are you friends with many of the people here? Yeah. Where are you going now? I'm going in town. You're going in town? Yeah. I hope you have a great day. Yes. Thank you. All right, man. Good. Later. How do you know that he's been through a lot, that guy? Oh, you, you've seen it. He's a young, fairly young son. He's, he's a youth. not doing anything that is relevant to yeah. move his life forward. Hell no! He was just sitting here talking. That was the word he said. He said, I smoke weed, cigarettes, drink rum. You feel me? That's that's the first thing that comes to your mind when people ask, what do you do? Or like, what do you like to do for fun? You dig what I'm saying? Then that's, that's not a good sign. You feel me? At least say, hopefully people have a hobby. They like to say they like reading a book, creating content, doing something. Nigga, do something. You feel me? Every day, make sure you improve. It, it don't matter if it's the slightest way, but make sure you is able to grow. You feel me? Right. So he just accept himself in that state. Yeah. But like it's morning time and he's all f up. I mean, exactly. Like so, what time does he yeah. start? Like 6 a.m.? Like it's crazy. So how come you didn't become like that? Uh... You seem to be really sufisticated and well, well. Was, am I? Yeah, but like you have like a good head on your shoulders. Uh, it seems like not everybody here has that. Uh, Controller the challenge. Is this your house? Yeah. You're cleaning? Pepe. Yeah. Every every morning you just sweeping? Not every morning. Do you work? No. Tell me about flankers. It's a nice community to visit. But I heard I heard in the past it was dangerous, but now it's okay. Yeah. Sometimes then trigger off. Trigger off, like yeah. gun. Yeah. How often do you hear gunshots? From last year. So this year, we're not really hear nothing much. I know killing not really go on from last year. So if anything, he talking about he's put the day in the most dangerous slum. Everybody is saying that it's nothing is ha they chilling. If it be, of course they go hear the regular regular. Ain't nothing perfect. You go hear some crime. It's gonna be some crime. But it's nothing crazy they saying, bro. But otherwise, it's okay. Hope it's still like that in the name of Jesus. Have you had friends that lost their lives? Yeah, I lost my son. In it? Damn, that's sad. Here on the streets? Over our next community. Follow a friend over there. He wasn't welcome in the other community? Right. So they killed him? Damn. Are you serious? Yeah. This month makes six years since he ended. My second child. That's all you never get over. It's January. Cry. When he's alive, he does not love when me cry. When he sees me cry, he say, me not for cry. It's too weaky, weaky. So me always 
motivate myself and remember when he said that. It's so sad, I'm sorry to hear that. Everyone's scared to come here, but people are super nice. If you have a friend in here, you can't come in here. What tonight. about me as a white man? Well, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, good luck. <laughs> you have to walk with me. I'll walk with you. You can't walk by yourself. Hey, bro, are you, are you all right? No, oh, yeah. Where are you going Walk now? On. I go shopping. Shopping? <laughs> Wait, there's some shops in there? No. <laughs> huh? Hey, bro. Did he say shopping? <laughs> like, with a pee? <laughs> What's up, bro? Is this Chris? Yeah. My cousin. What's up, man? Well, cousin so Chris. You see what you look alike? Well, kind of. But I, I'm more <laughs> handsome. Yeah. Yes, I'm more handsome. Yeah, I need it. Uh, oh, Drew, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Bless up. I like your shirt, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Jamaica, be crazy. You like Jamaica? Yeah, it's fifty percent. The, the scenery and the vegetation, the, yeah. the minerals. Yes. But the the system, no. What's wrong with the system? Government sell out. They sold out every infrastructure. You know, I heard something that like Jamaican people, they cannot go to the beach because it's yes, only resource. So what? How do you feel that you can't the go to the fuck? beach in your own country? No, that's not good. That's not. That's good. crazy. Not really work with that. It's just a little bit left. A little bit left. And we're fighting for what is left. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's terrible. The airport is not Jamaica. They got the airline. The back sites. Two tourists. They, they ain't getting nothing for tourism. it. Nothing that's, left for the people. Up. Only the vegetation and the minerals and everything. I think it's messed up that real Jamaicans there don't even have access to their own beaches. Can you think it of is. anything more criminal? On top of that, most workers earn below the minimum wage, which is a hundred US dollars per week. And Jamaica is not a cheap country. But out of their struggles, there's also resilience expressed through street poetry. Speaking of, my new friend Wes wants to show me some of his lyrics. You got the bus around on Willie Lynch. Okay. No, Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch is the name of a, a slave planter. You know Jamaica is a slave country. Yeah, of course. Enslaved, not slave. Willie! Enslaved, enslaved. enslaved yeah. Two different words. He was from England and have many plantations in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. They sent for Willie Lynch to tell them how to control their slave. So this one is called Willie Lynch. You wrote this? Yes. Okay, awesome. Go ahead. Willie Lynch, Willie Lynch, Willie Lynch. A Caucasian Englishman in 1701 owned many plantations in the Caribbean. The terms lynching is his name it are derived from for Mr. Lynch. Lynch black men if they rebelled against his exploitation. Thousands of pitney down a yard above. Thousands of pitney down a yard above. You oh, it's like acting. Yeah. Okay, so, you have a nice view out here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, be careful. Because, uh, oh, wow. That's, that's, that's awesome. It goes straight yeah, down. What the fuck? Guys, if Nigga, miss one step, it's over for her. What the fuck? Bro, just got the door wide open. That's a setup. I'd be scared to sit right there. Like, bro, go push my ass. Man, it would not be fun if I fell off of this. Uh... I wouldn't like that. Yeah. It would be so uh, disastrous for me. I have one question Disasters. for you. If you could give any message to everyone in the world, what would you tell them? Any message? He's a, he's Everybody a very cool one. Sweet guy. Equal rights and justice. Equity, judgment, and justice for all and nothing less. And nobody no bigger than none, and nobody no greater than none. Nobody no greater than none. I agree. You have that not tell them. Go by the world. All right, guys, really nice meeting you. I gotta head back. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Be before they think that we we we, we kidnap you. Nah. <laughs> oh, don't talk around like that. Everybody really friendly. Yeah, man. I, I might want to come back here for like one hour at night. Is yeah, it man. safe? Yeah, man. It is. It is safe. Would you Would you take us? Yeah, man. Let's yeah, do it, man. I'm gonna bring my buddies. Yeah, they would love it. All yeah, right. Yeah, man, they know, what? Right. They wouldn't even come I'm in the daytime. I'm exhausted from my walk around Flankers, but I'm so impressed by Wes's poetry and everyone's kindness that I want to share my experience with the guys at the Airbnb. I know they're worried about safety, but McCoy says he can take us to a rum bar to celebrate our last night. All right, guys, how are we feeling? Pretty good. Really <laughs> We're heading into Flankers at night. I got my whole team here. What do you think's going to happen? Huh? A lot of fun. <laughs> Say your prayer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, 
guys. Thank you, thank you. Just step in. Welcome to Flankers. That's fine. This is my wife. I haven't had you this. <laughs> this is the host. <laughs> How are you? Not too bad. Nice to meet you. Well, hi, says a hard movie. Make me cry. Be sure, same thing, plot up talk and your best young man use a condom before you have sex. Then put your hey, dick in my hand in a gutter. They get to you, them a liver can't have berry. No fire war if it's done necessary. Flank okay. for destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I understand. I understand. Ten it seems like everybody is like a, a artist, bro. Right? Everybody got. It's like natural to them. So I've just been told that people that live in Flankers, they don't really leave their area, their community, because it's controlled by gangs. And if they go to other places, they could get stabbed or killed. So it's pretty tense out here. There's not that many people walking around these streets. But we're with McCoy and uh, feels comfortable under his wing. No tourists that come to Jamaica see this side of the country. And I think it's important to see the street life and feel the people and the culture. The mission now is to try to find a bar, a local rum bar, and hang out with some more locals. We have just found a local bar with a bunch of people hanging out, and it's a little sketchy to shoot here, but I'm gonna go in and see who we can meet and what we can discover. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> a little better than the hip strip, huh? <laughs> At the rum bar, the locals were surprised to see a group of tourists pull up and buy some beers. But it wasn't long before they welcomed us in, and we eagerly traded stories about our lives and cultures. You really met Bob Marley? I did. How, how is he nice? Oh, he was cool as cucumber. Cool as cucumber. What, what year did you meet him? 1973. What does Bob Marley mean to Jamaican people? Oh, he's a hero. All right, people. He's a national hero. Because he put reggae music on the international stage. I wasn't exactly sure what kind of dominoes games they were playing, but it was surely a lively match. Nice guys. Nice to meet you. Give him. Have a good way Arizona. Nice to meet you, yeah, that's where they got the good buds, man. <laughs> Can you do my hair next? <laughs> yeah, sure. Flanka is alive now. I'm telling you, Flanka is good. There are times when I would come inside here and when I look from that end to this end, not a single living soul walking, just the dog. Because it's so dangerous? Peace. But now it's lively. Oh, she's, she's, I'm she's talking about peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, guys. See you later. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Leroy, nice to meet you. Thank you. Good talking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good night. Thank you so much. What do you think about that? As our time in Jamaica comes to an end, we're struck by the poverty that persists in Montego Bay. The divide between tourist resorts and local neighborhoods is stark, but here in Flankers, we've been welcomed with warmth and openness. It's a reminder that as Love. tourists, we have a responsibility to invest in the real lives of the people who call these places home and always seek out authentic connections. This has been my second trip to Jamaica and I absolutely love this country. It's in my top three favorites in the Caribbean and I can't wait to come back. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what my camera doing. Yeah, that, that video was, how do y'all feel about that? It was decent. They showed that it's not, it's not bad out there. It's really peaches and cream. You feel me? They stay out there chilling, whatever the case may be. But this is the end of this. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Jason, show me out this one.